Last night, some of you know, they had the race, the uh, vote in Alabama for the next senator from Alabama. According to the AP, Democrat Doug Jones won the Senate race in Alabama against Judge Roy Moore. I want you to hear this, folks, because had it not been for the black votes in Alabama, um, Doug Jones would not have won the Democrat. I have a lot to say about that. According to the Washington Post, 96 percent of quote unquote African-Americans supported Doug Jones. Ninety six percent of black voters of black people in Alabama voted for Doug Jones. It was similar to President Barack Hussein Obama, where 95 percent, 95 percent of black people voted for Barack Obama in 2012. I have to tell you, black voters, black Democrats are the most gullible people when it comes to believing in lies on this side of heaven. They are the most gullible group of people on this side of heaven when it comes to believing in lies because they do not believe in truth at all, not one iota of truth. And it's so amazing that 80% of black people would tell you that they believe in God. I'm here as a black American to tell you that they're lying. They do not believe in God. They do not. If they believed in God, they would have clear minds. They would have sound minds. They would have godly values that guides them. They would live on the side of righteousness. Black Americans are the most brainwashed, dumbed down, demoralized, corrupt people that I've ever heard of or met in my entire life. They call good evil and evil good. It has nothing to do with racism. There is no such thing as racism. Racism does not and has never existed. Had it existed, blacks would have been immoral 60 years ago and back, but they were not for the most part. But today they are, and we need to be absolutely honest with them. There is no way that you could be a son or daughter of God, a Christian, and support anyone who represents the Democratic platform, the Democratic Party. It doesn't work that way. That's a reality. When Linda B. Johnson signed the uh, welfare bill, giving blacks free stuff from the government and taking the fathers out of the home, he said the Democrats will control blacks for the next 100 years. So far, it's been 60 years. I mean, 200 years. And so far, it's been 60 years of control by the Democratic Party. Here's my proof. How can you be of good, of God, of truth, of love, and vote for a man such as Doug Jones or even Barack Hussein Obama? But Doug Jones for now. Doug Jones, I want you to hear this. And you had 96% of black people voted for him. Doug Jones is pro-abortion. Pro-abortion. Some say he support late-term abortion. That's when the baby is about to pop out of the womb. And you just, the, the woman decides, you know what, I don't want this baby. I don't, I don't like the daddy. Cut the throat, kill the baby, bring it out. Some say, some say he support that. Doug Jones is pro-homosexual marriage, pro-same-sex marriage. And so now you know that 90% of black people support that too. When they tell you they don't, they're lying to you. They're lying. 
They cannot be honest about being of their father, the devil, being of evil. They support it. They have to support it to vote in a man like Doug Jones. You cannot not support it and vote for that man. Abortion. 70% of Planned Parenthood abortion mills are located in the inner cities. They're killing black ba- unborn black babies like 90 going north. And in some cases, they've been accused of selling baby body parts for a profit. Black babies, white babies, babies, baby, baby. And yet, black people voted for Doug Jones all in the name of Jesus. And they're the first one to talk about God and give praise to God. Next time they do it, you know what to do. (laughs) Turn your head because they're lying. Doug Jones, he was endorsed by the radical homosexual human rights campaign. Doug Jones was. 96% of blacks voted for that. He is for amnesty for young illegal aliens, better known as DACA. Illegals are coming in, ending it up, ending up in the urban areas around the country, taking jobs from blacks. Uh, education in the public school system, not that they're getting a good education anyway, but they're overcrowding the educational system, health care. When you go to the county facilities and most black people need them, you wait in these long lines because the illegal aliens are there. They're bringing drugs and violence and crime into the urban area. Black Americans are the most dumbed down, brainwashed, demoralized, Godless people on this side of heaven. I don't know of one time within the last 60 years where majority of black people supported good. If someone else know, let me know. Black Americans are in a fallen state. They're falling away from good, from God. They're falling away from family. And they have been brainwashed and they are being used for destruction all over this country and around the world. And here's what happened. At the last minute, when it looked like the blacks might not show up to vote, the race hustlers, the children of the lie, gathered together and decided to go around Alabama and tell black people that this race is about racism. It's about suppression of the vote. They went around and said, Judge Roy Moore is a racist. He hate women. He's a rapist. He's a whatever else they said to the blacks. And when they used the word racism, voter suppression, blacks went into a trance like this. And they just went and voted. They lost all sense of awareness. And they just went to the poll like this, like zombies and voted for Doug Jones because they went into a hypnotic trance. And when you're an angry person, when you're an immoral person or people, you can easily be put into a hypnotic trance and you can get that person or people to do whatever you want them to do. And I want you to notice, whenever the Democrats are losing, They do not go and promise blacks, we're going to make sure you have safe neighborhoods. You're going to have jobs in your neighborhoods. Families are going to come back together. Opportunities, lower taxes, restrictions and regulation regulation for businesses. They say the white man, the white Republicans, does not want you to vote. Charles Barkley uh, a poor excuse of a man also encouraged blacks to go out and vote for this godless Democrat. Black people are suffering due to the lack of moral character. It has nothing to do with race, folks. I have never, when I was growing up on the plantation of Alabama, in Alabama, under the Jim Crow laws, black Americans were decent, moral, upright folks. They were Republicans. 
and they were Republicans because of the platform of the Republican Party. And they loved God. They were of God. They are no longer of God.